Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. Here are the scores following the first toss-up round, which was interrupted due to a technical difficulty. We will add the one minute remaining in that toss-up round to the next toss-up round. We do have a tie game right now. 50 points for our team from Freeman High School and 50 points for our team from Jamestown High School. And we'll get back to our match just ahead, but first let's introduce you to today's players. First, our team from Douglas Freeman High School in Henrico County. They are the Mavericks. Their coach is Matthew Scott. First up is Gio Matseo, who is a senior. He's involved in Model UN and the History and Human Rights Club. His interests include science, debate, and philosophy, and Gio also runs track year round. Our team captain from Douglas Freeman is Joseph Chambers, who is a senior. He enjoys reading, keeping up with UVA sports, and doing word and logic puzzles. He's a participant in the Model UN Club and the Freeman Young Democrats Club. He's a musician. He plays baritone sax in the marching band and tenor sax in the school's jazz band. Next up is Kenny Vo, who is a senior. He plans to go into chemical engineering. His interests include paleontology, video games, and zoology. And wrapping up our team from Freeman is Kieran Wall, who's a senior. He's an avid rock climber, editor-in-chief of the school's newspaper, enjoys amateur astronomy, hiking, and swimming, and is in the Center for Leadership at Freeman. That is our team from Douglas Freeman High School in Henrico County. Now let's meet our team from Jamestown High School. They are the Eagles. Their coach is Ryan Gross. First up, Carolyn Yu, who wants to study abroad in Korea. She enjoys drawing in her free time. Our team captain from Jamestown is Sam Kaiser. Sam plans to attend a school in a big city. Good luck on that. He's the captain of the school's Scholastic Bowl team and enjoys history and reading. Next up is Josh Angelo, who is a senior. His interests are science and mathematics. He hopes to attend Virginia Tech. And wrapping up our team is Woody Hulse, who is a senior. He's studying uh, computer science when he gets to college. Right now, he loves to play chess and take his dog Sally for walks. That is our team from Jamestown High School outside of Williamsburg. Now to our category round where each team will select one 10 question category from today's choices. If a team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they'll receive a 20 point bonus. Teams here are today's categories from which you may choose. Take a look at the screen. They are athletic nicknames, scientific transformations, and chemical elements. And we do note that in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answer. The high score team gets first choice of category, but in the case of a tie, the team that got the last correct question gets to go first. That is Jamestown. So Sam, open your mic for me and quickly talk it over with your teammates. Let me know what category you would like to play. All right. What do you guys think? <laughs> Are we going to do scientific transformations? All right. Scientific transformations identify each of the following transformations in science. The first is wedge-shaped glass that breaks white light into colors of the spectrum. Uh, our answer is prism. That is correct. Contamination of the natural environment by man. Our answer is pollution. Correct. Process by which a caterpillar becomes a butterfly. It's metamorphosis, right, Josh? Uh, our answer is metamorphosis. Correct. Process by which light nuclei are joined together. Uh, our answer is fusion. Fusion is correct. Name for what is called a shooting or falling star when it hits the Earth. Meteorite, right? Is it meteor or meteorite, Joshua? I think it's meteorite when it's on the ground. Meteorite is our answer? That is correct. Process by which green plants take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and replace it with oxygen. Photosynthesis is our answer? Correct. Classification for any substance that turns litmus blue. Basic. Uh, our answer is basic? That is correct. Process by which large molecules of amino acids are broken down into smaller ones for the body's use. And Our answer is buzzer uh, is the digestion. end. Time ran out. Uh, the, the answer is digestion. All right, good job on the category by our team from Jamestown High School. Freeman, will it be athletic nicknames or chemical elements? And uh, Joseph, you can quickly talk it over with your teammates. Open your mic up for me. 
Yep, we've decided on chemical elements. All right, from the following clues, give the chemical element that fits the description. The first is defines the atomic mass unit. It's carbon. Right? Yeah, carbon is our answer. Correct. Has an isotope called tritium. Hydrogen is our answer. Correct. Was once called wolfram. Tungsten is our answer. Correct. Is last alphabetically. It's zirconium. Zirconium. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zirconium is our answer. That is correct. Is the most abundant by mass in the Earth's crust? It's either aluminum. I think it's aluminum. Right? It's aluminum or magnesium. Oh no, it's not magnesium. Aluminum is our answer. It's oxygen. Comes from the ore galena. Lead. Lead is our answer. Lead is correct. Is liquid at room temperature? Mercury. Mercury is our answer. Correct. Has a Greek name that suggests it is foreign. Oh, it's uh, uh, xenon, eh? Xenon, yeah. uh, xenon is our answer. Correct. Xenon. Has the highest melting point? <laughs> no, I mean, I thought that was a while. Um, hmm. Maybe something simple. Um, and I feel like sodium or something. Maybe. Iridium is our answer. That would be carbon. Back to the beginning. And we don't get to the last question. Our time is up. Good job with the category round for our teams. Up next, we'll have another toss-up round here on Battle of the Brain. Stay with us. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Freeman High School with 85 points. Jamestown High School, 85 points. A tie match once again as we check the score. And now back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. Again, questions being directed to teams alternating between them. The first player to raise their hand may answer. That is the answer we accept. There are no point deductions for incorrect answers. And again, because we had a te technical difficulty in the first round, we are adding that one minute that was left in the toss-up round to this round. So... We will start this match with Freeman High School, and here is your question. It became a kingdom in 1701 under Frederick I. It was incorporated into an empire 170 years later under William I. Name this state governed by Frederick the Great before becoming the core of the German Empire. Geo. Prussia. Prussia is correct. Jamestown, celiac disease is a digestive order in which patients cannot tolerate what? Caroline. Gluten. Gluten is correct. Freeman. He once gave a speech with an attempted assassin's bullet still inside him. Name this 20th century American president who ran for office on the bull moose ticket. Joseph. Teddy Roosevelt. That is correct. Jamestown. One of the stars of Buffalo Bill's Wild West show was a female sharpshooter. Who was this expert shot whose story was told in the Broadway musical Annie, Get Your Gun? Sam. Annie Oakley. Annie Oakley is correct. Freeman, while walking with Benvolio on the Verona Street, he encounters Tybalt, who is angry over uninvited guests at the Capulet's party. Name this friend of Romeo who was slain in the ensuing duel. Joseph. Mercutio. Mercutio is correct. Jamestown, he discovered an unknown form of radiation that he called X-rays. Who was this first winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics? Joshua. Sorry, uh, Rankin. William Rankin is correct. Freeman, what is the first month of the year that has precisely 30 days? Joseph. April. April is correct. Jamestown, photographer and environmentalist Ansel Adams was most associated with images of the American West, and in particular, which United States National Park? Sam. Yosemite. Yosemite is correct. It is said to appear in storms near the Cape of Good Hope. Name this legendary ghost ship that can never make land and is doomed to sail the oceans forever. Freeman. Joseph. The Flying Dutchman. That is correct. All right, Jamestown, please watch the screen and listen closely. Here is your Virginia-based question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. The Weston Hotel and Residence Building has a height of 508 feet, making it the tallest building in Virginia. 
In what city is it located? Sam. Alexandria. It's actually in Virginia Beach. All right, Freeman, it, in what common household device would you find a bulb, a stem, and a contraction chamber and an expansion chamber? Joseph. A refrigerator? It would be in a thermometer. Jamestown, he created such stories as the tortoise and the hare and the goose that laid the golden egg. Name this author of fables which told moral lessons rather than being literally true. Caroline. Aesop. Aesop is correct. Freeman, Millefiore is a type of mosaic glass. Spell Millefiore. Joseph. M-I-L-L-E. F-I-O-R-I. -I. That is correct, Mille Fiore. All right, Jamestown. In 1605, Guy Fawkes was convicted in the famous gunpowder plot for attempting to blow up what building? Sam. The Tower of London. It was the Houses of British Parliament or the Palace of Westminster. Freeman, this body of water becomes a tidal river at Trenton and flows by Philadelphia. The eastern boundary of Pennsylvania is formed by what river that Washington famously crossed in 1776? Geo. The Delaware. That is correct. Jamestown, in what state are the NBA's jazz located? Woody. And we just lost Woody. Is anybody else on the team from uh, Jamestown would like to answer? Sam? Uh, Salt Lake City? No. no, it would be Utah. And we will try to get uh, Woody back during the break. All right, Freeman, what is the more common name of sodium bicarbonate? Geo? A baking soda. That is correct. James. That buzzer means one more toss-up round to go. We'll see which team moves on to the next round here on Battle of the Brains. So stay with us for that.